Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. So it's time for me to build a new computer for a photo processing and for video processing. So I thought I'd share the experience with you and hopefully those of you that are looking into the same type of thing might get a hint or some advice that uh, works for you. Um, basically every time I go to do this, every three years or so, uh, I've usually gotten a little bit behind because I haven't been paying attention to what's current. So it takes me a little bit of reading, a little bit of research to get up to speed. So hopefully you'll get something out of this. Uh, basically, you're looking at two processors. The uh, Both Intel, AMD doesn't really do too great if you're looking for building a very good photo or video processing machine. You basically want to stay with Intel, especially on the video side. We're looking at the Intel i7-3770K which is a quad-core processor. It's one of the uh, the top processors from Intel right now for quad-cores uh, without stepping into big bucks for a Xeon machine. Both these machines are in the reasonable price range. You can build them for under $2,000 for a very fast machine. If you want the ultimate machine, you're looking at spending a lot more money and getting into Xeon sensors, thousands of dollars more. So we're going to concentrate on these two. So the first is the i 3770K from Intel quad-core. And the second is the i7-3930K hexa-core, that's six cores, processor, CPU, from Intel. And uh, off the bat, you'd probably think, oh, the hexa-core is the one to go with. That's probably a more powerful chip. It's probably better for what I want to do. And um, not necessarily the case. It, uh, it really depends on what you want to do here. Um, if you're primarily photo processing, you could save some money and go with the i7 30, uh, 3770 3770K, and uh, it is it's going to cost you probably four to five hundred dollars less to build that system than it is to build the i7 3930K, the hexacore. So if price is an issue, right off the bat, you probably want to go with the 3770 uh, quad core. If uh, price isn't an issue, then you want to look at the i7 3930K as well. Uh, the thing is, is that if you're not doing a lot of video, you should probably still save your money and go with the 3770. If you look at the benchmarks on these two processors, basically the 3770 is keeping up very well, in some instances even exceeding the 3930K, the hexacore. Uh, and where we really see a difference though is in video. So if you're into video, if you're doing a lot of video processing, that's where the 3930 hexacore shines. The six cores really kick in there, the multi-threading, and you get into some serious uh, processing power for video, and that's where you can use those extra cores. If most of what you're doing is photo processing, then I would suggest you stay with the i7-3770K 37, uh, k and uh, save yourself a bit of money. On the i3770, you're looking at just over $300, about $300 to $350, depending on where you're buying it. On the i7-3930K, the hexacore, you're looking at, uh, say, $550 to $600, depending on where you're buying it. These are current prices as of today, beginning of November 2012. So, again, you're right there seeing about $200 difference on the chip itself. Then we have two different motherboards. You have to go to a 2011, it's an LGA 2011 socket motherboard on the i uh, i7 3930K, which is going to cost you about 200 bucks more. You go with the LGA 1155 on the 3770K chip, which is going to save you about $200. So basically, between the two of them, $400 to $500 more to build the hexacore. If video is your thing, then I would suggest for sure go ahead with the Hexacore 3930K. If you're mostly photography, if all you do is photography, the 3730, uh, 3770K is a very fast processor. It's going to save you on both the, the uh, CPU and on the motherboard, and it's going to uh, still give you a great performing machine. Now, the other caveat here, uh, besides price and besides whether or not you're looking at photo or video, is that with the uh, the 2011 motherboards that the 3930K requires, you can go all the way to 64 gigabytes of RAM. On the 1155 boards, uh, all of them that I saw, and in fact, I think that's probably all of them. There may be one that I didn't see, but it looks like most of them anyways are 32 gigabytes of RAM max. 
So if you're going to uh, require 64 gigs down the road for something, or if you need it right now, then you're better off to get a um, 2011 board. And once you're doing that, then I suggest you probably should jump up into the 39, uh, 30K processor. So basically, um, 32 gigabytes of RAM is your limitation with the 3770K, uh, the board it requires, the 1155. And on the uh, 2011 side, the 3930K, you can go to 64 gigabytes of RAM. This may not be an issue, issue for you because 32 gigabytes of RAM is probably all most of us need. That's uh, all I would probably put in either machine at the moment. But it is nice to have the option to up your RAM. And in that case, you need the 2011 socket board. So, in a nutshell, folks, if you're mostly into photos, go with the quad-core i7 3770K. You're going to build that, and I would suggest an Asus motherboard or an Intel motherboard. If you're doing photos and video, or if you're heavily into video, then I would go with the i7 3930K. That's the hexa-core, and that's a 2011 socket board, and that's going to allow you to go to 64 gigabytes of RAM, and the extra cores are going to help you with your, your uh, video processing. It's going to save you time, and it's going to be more powerful in that regard. So thanks for tuning in, folks. Hope that helped if you're looking at building a new system or you're curious what's the way to go these days. Um, stay tuned. I'm going to show you what I end up choosing and the parts I'm using, all the different uh, parts that go into my build, and uh, we'll talk about that in the next video. Thanks a lot. Stay tuned. We'll be back with some more video posts, some new articles. We'll keep you up to date with what's going on in the world of photography here at ArtOfTheImage.com. Thanks, folks.